Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. It says evaluate this power tower minus this, minus this, minus this. And the only difference with each of these terms is the location of the parentheses. This is day eight of our algebra February calendar. For the month of February, we're gonna do 28 algebra challenges. There are some pretty cool looking ones here. And if you wanna try this one, pause it right now, because I'm gonna solve it in three, two, one. Let's focus on this term first. Anytime you have a power tower, you work from the top down. So we're gonna focus on the zero squared first. Zero squared is equal to zero. And then we're gonna do the three to the zero. And anything to the zero power is one. And now we have two to the one, which is two. So this whole first term simplified to two. Now let's focus on the second term. The major difference here is the location of the parentheses. We need to evaluate inside the parentheses first. Two cubed is equal to eight. And now we can focus on the tower. Zero squared is equal to zero. And now we can do eight to the zero. And anything to the power of zero is one. So this whole second term simplified to one. And now let's do this term. For this one, we need to do inside the parentheses first, and we need to do the tower first. Three to the zero is equal to one. And then we can do two to the one, which is two. And now we can do the two squared and that's equal to four. So this whole term was equal to four. And now let's do the last term. Since everything is inside of the parentheses, we're just gonna do the whole thing. And we'll start at the top of the tower. Zero to the two is equal to zero. And then we're gonna do three to the zero. Anything to the zero power is equal to one. And then we have two to the one, which is equal to two. So the last term ended up being the exact same thing as the first term, but the parentheses affected the other ones. And now we just simplify this. 2 minus 1 minus 4 minus 2 is equal to negative 5. And this is the answer to our question. Let's put a box around it. How exciting. And here's tomorrow's question. It says solve for x. We're given 3 to the power of the cube root of x plus 3 equals 1 to the power of the square root of negative 2x plus x. This looks like a fun one. How exciting.